Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and everybody today our topic is gonna be I am gonna be your teacher to teach you how to not spend 100,000 peso on something you don't need <laughs> Stay in and keep watching if you don't know my name I'm Anna. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe and like. Hi you guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today, I will be your teacher. And the lesson for today is how not to spend money on things you don't really need. Or how not to waste 100,000 pesos. Keep watching! And I will show you how. I am not a financial advisor. So, I'm just me being Anna and trying to make a YouTube video to make something out of my life. <laughs> I'm an impulsive person, so when I see something that I like, I usually buy it. Yes, that's just like me. Even though I don't really need it. And it is not a wise thing to do, but I have this problem with me and I'm trying to cure it which after this last purchase that I made this um, year like two months ago I made a bad mistake purchase and I regret that until now so I'm teaching you today I'm giving you some tips and lesson not to do the same mistake that I did with my life on 2020 so here we go Lesson one. Come here, come here, come here, come here, and listen to me, okay? For this lesson one, do not shop online because the reason of that is you buy clothes, and when it arrives, it is not the same as the picture on the website, and you all know that, yes? Yes, I know. I know too because. I experienced it. I bought something from internet and the picture was so pretty, so beautiful. That's why I bought it for that reason. <laughs> and also, you cannot fit clothes when you purchase online. Or if you buy something like, you know, iPhone cable charger, they only work for maximum one month and they get broken based on my experience and i'm sure some of you can relate on this we all know that we do buy a lot of stuff this time around of our life with internet and online shopping it's very easy to you know click that add to my cart kind of thing so yes i did that many many times and now i'm trying to avoid doing it i've been more very very addictive on going through the online stores like Lazada when I was back in the Philippines I was ordering like 50,000 worth of shit from Lazada <laughs> one night I, I cannot sleep and I did it so that is not a very very good thing to do and I actually regret that <laughs> I keep saying I regret but I haven't really learned because until this year, I kept doing it. We all know, going online, what you buy is not what you get. <laughs> and you know it's true a lot of times. So, do not shop online for that reason. First, you do not get what you order. And usually, when they arrive, it's broken also. I think I have spent 200 50,000 peso online for the last two years buying crap that I don't need or it doesn't really, you know, have a value in my life. Avoid online shopping if you can. Yeah? So, let's go to lesson two. So, listen to Don't shop while you are bored. Okay? Yes. Listen to me. Don't go to the mall when you're bored. The reason of this is you tend to buy something because you have nothing else to do. Like I usually do, I go to the mall and I spend something that I don't need. 
So, avoid the mall if you're bored. You can do something to replace your boredom with, you know, workout, exercise, jogging, walking, or do some biking. Go do something that's productive. I'm sure you can think a lot if you just use your mind. <laughs> My kids like to go to the playground so we usually go there and I'm sure they're bored that's why they want to get out of the house and I feel them because I experienced myself that boredom <laughs> here in France we can go now to the park because in Cebu I don't know any park in there so I cannot go anywhere but here there's a park and my kids also like to go to the playground so yes we went there uh, last Wednesday because they want to play Hi Margo! Hi! <laughs> okay. So it cures my boredom now <laughs> It's uh, good for me So yes, avoid the mall and replace with something more better like watching YouTube don't buy something online when you are bored now let's go to lesson number three let's read the lesson number three lesson number three make a list on things that you really need it can save a lot of money for your end it's just not for me but it's also for you so list what you really need and keep on that list you know do not add anything else that you really don't need except you need something that gives value in your life or very very important that you need to buy it yeah okay because i know when i go to the grocery store i tend to buy more when i don't make a list let's go to lesson number four this is our paper and read it. Okay. Lesson number four. Avoid online or retail store that doesn't give you a good return policy. That means when you buy something and either you don't like it, it doesn't fit you or it's broken or other reason that you can think of, they will accept it back because you bought it from them a good customer service when they are uh, replaced or give you back your money that is a good um, store because they, t they care about their uh, customer I really really believe that customer is always right no matter what do not go to the store if the store doesn't offer a return or refund okay yes lesson number five and that is <laughs> don't buy something in a moment until you go think about it for one night you go sleep first think about it the next morning and maybe the next two days if you <laughs> want to buy it so do it but by the third night you will not buy it because you forget about it so yes i experienced that before <laughs> So yes, now let's go to lesson number six. And that lesson is, you know, when you go to the online store, they make you create an account, right? Yes, I know, because they did it to me many times. And I did create an account to them. And it got me wasting my money on stuff that I don't need. And I do not like them at all. <laughs> because if you create an account on online store what happen is do you usually save your information like your credit card information um your address so that just one click and you are ready for chasing that product that you don't even need yeah yes i know i know a lot <laughs> because i experience it myself now <laughs> this in our uh, lesson which is lesson number seven and that is uh 
always buy from a retailer store or online seller that has a very good reviews actually if they have a very negative reviews at the end you would not buy it but if they um, have a good reviews you usually buy it so by reading the reviews it usually help you by not purchasing something and you go move forward on some other store <laughs> and still waste money just kidding <laughs> so don't make mistake like I did I learned from this experience not to go shopping online anymore or even going to the store unless I really really need it so yes I'm trying to be a model right now <laughs> And I'm aware of my um, expenditure habit for the last four years and it is not good so this really teaches me to make a plan and budget more my income because at this time of my life I don't have a very good income because of the COVID so I could have been more smarter on purchasing something last two months ago <laughs> and I could have buy a MacBook Pro laptop instead than this clothing because I'm sure if I bought a MacBook Pro laptop I will enjoy it because I'm on a computer most of the time because I work and uh, the clothes is just there in the closet so yes now I learn how to you know financially plan my expenses, what I need for grocery store, what I really need to buy, and just, you know, be more smarter. I hope you learned something from this uh, video. Now, let's fit my uh, beautiful clothes that I ordered from the Real Real Company on July 30th, which is, I justify that as it's my birthday gift. So, who else can buy me a gift better than myself of course it's only me <laughs> so I spent 100,000 peso 41,000 peso of that was I had to pay to France here France my 41,000 peso you can have my money yes they took my money <laughs> my clothes are only worth around 1,000 341 dollar which is around 66,000 peso but yes I I spent 600 euro to pay for custom and duty tax to receive my item here in France from America and that's really really packed up because I bought a second-hand clothes it is not brand new and for your information when you buy brand new product or items or clothes especially luxury items they charge you already tax and when someone bought it and sell it again as a second hand they charge that person an another tax so that means that's double tax that's for me it's illegal <laughs> i do not agree with that double taxing it is not good at all yes let's go let's fit that clothes let's fit that clothes <laughs> So this clothes is from Balenciaga. <laughs> I will write down uh, how much it costs because the price is my phone. So yes, it's nice to dress. Actually, um, I cut it a little bit because it was until here. <laughs> so I shortened it up. I bought a sewing machine for 30 euro in here in France so my second dress from Carolina Herrera hey, I like it <laughs> next <laughs> so this one is from Halston Heritage and I pay $56 for this <laughs> So yes It's nice dress Next <laughs> It's from Zuck Putin 
I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, but this cost $40. I like the color. It's nice. So, yes. So, it's not bad, but I will cut it. This is from Carolina Herrera. Um, this cost me $117. So it's a long dress. It's not bad. I like it. This is from Dolce and Gabbana. This is size 4 and it cost me $82.50. So, yes, <laughs> nah, I like it for going out. From Zop was in, it's not bad. I like this one. Mm. I spent $56 for this dress and I like the color. So this one is from Carolina Herrera. I paid, I will link later on how much I paid for this because I don't remember exactly. So yes. It's very summery dress. Uh, I haven't worn this yet. So yes, I will take a picture of this next year. I cannot sit my back because no one can help me. <laughs> this is you guys, the end of my video. Please do subscribe and like. Thank you very much. And my name is Anna and I am from Philippines. Arabo. That means goodbye. A bien too. That means see you soon. <laughs> in French <laughs> before I end this video I want to thank you guys for watching please subscribe and like the button thank you very much and have a good day bon journey see you soon Mwah. <laughs>